back guys and welcome back to today's video from Farmer Scoops. Um, we have no mechanical work today in this video. This video is simply and solely moving cattle. We need to move our Charlie cows up to some uh, fresh grass and it's quite a quite a walks away from where we are. So I've got a couple of people on hand. I have my dad who you'll see in this video as well is heading off up the road on his 35 to go and sit at a paddock that if you remember back from my previous video of the one that we receded uh, that's where he's going to go and sit now at the minute the old brushes are getting in the way of the gate and um, the shepherdess is sitting above in the field where we have the hay made or the hay to be made and she's going to wait for them to come in there so that she can just usher them on uh, without them staying too long on it to do any pooping or pooping or peeing I'm just closing up the few gates here. So guys, I'll bring you back in in a few when I manage to get them rounded up and get them gathered up here to the gate. And hopefully it'll be a fairly, fairly smooth operation this evening. All right guys, catch you in a few. We managed to get the Shardies rounded up. They're in the field now where the black whiteheads were. The black whiteheads are back there somewhere. So I'm running these down to this corner gate. They're fairly moving now. I have an idea where they're going anyway. Only thing with the calves, the calves don't have a clue where they're going. If they get caught in behind a gate somewhere and behind some wire, it can cause a bit of a disaster, but hopefully we can just keep them trotting along with the cows. Shepherdess is in there. She's just going to usher them on instead of leaving them in here. where the hay was and there's a road back along the side of it so I'm just hoping that they're going to stay taking it on on the roadway my help is on its way all we need to do is keep these motors and I'm going to cut inside them now unless I get a chance here but I'd safely say that's exactly what I was thinking that we're going to do spot now. Right, my dad should be there. He hasn't shown himself yet. He might want to make himself known. There we are. they know exactly where they're going to see the, the final gate is open I'm gonna let them walk on down to it it's great to have the help all right guys we're gonna catch up with you in a few I'm just gonna close up this gate now and check, check on the drinkers and uh, we're on to the next job So guys, cows are shifted. That was the job for this afternoon. I'm in the process now of setting this up for tomorrow. We're going to be rolling up our grass um, for baling, for hay. Excuse the t-shirt. I'll have to get someone to sponsor me some, some polo shirts. That could be in the pipeline. This one is extendable. Don't mind my pre or temporary fix here. Um, you pull this handle and you drop the bar down into the corresponding holes and you simply just slide it along So on until you can extend it out now I've put sp some spray grease on this so that when I push it back in the next time it comes out it will um, It'll be just that much simpler for using I've gone round on all the grease nipples and you know, There's 
ones on the tops of the the tops of the why the reels sorry i was going to call them turntables but the reels one's up here i've done the shaft both things there's actually two in here in this corner there's one in the knuckle and then there's one out in the slip clutch and my gates on that is the width we are going to be rowing in the grass it's wider than your your standard uh hey bob i think the working width on this is four if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but it could be four meters that's why they call it three point the 390 i think it is i'm just looking at this it says 380 on this side and it says 390 round on the badge so someone might have got them someone might have got mixed up with the stickers but it's a handy piece of kit it saves having to bring in the the big rakes to rake up the grass simple as you like it down on the ground you drive forward a small bit till this gets a bit of a space that you can flip it up comes around like the original hay bob on the headstock in here comes around not like the bear there's a bear on the old the other type hay bobs that goes from here to here and it swings around in and out this one just swings around on the headstock um, i don't know which is worse which is better i have a couple of broken springs i'm not going to worry about them just yet i just want to get this road up um and when i have time before um, at silage i will change the springs they're simple enough to do um not a big job so i'm not too worried about them it's just i don't have the time to do them this evening i just want to get it set up on the tractor get the this part out here moving in and out nice and free so that because you cannot travel on the road this width i just stand in line with the wheel there's the wheel and you can see we have all of that sticking outside plus then you have the actual reel itself so it wouldn't work that way um so i just want to get it freed up enough that as soon as i put it into the field i can just uh hop off the tractor pull the pin start working the bear in and out i don't know what i'll be able to show you doing it now if i can i'm just use this barrel so you have to pop this one up so that it's loose and then down into the hole now it takes a wee bit of force hasn't been used in over a year so it does take it does take i think it's going to take two hands so you can pop the phone there somewhere i just want to two hands it on it and two hands it back all we need to do is get it to a point that Show them the first, the first hole, and as you're pulling it back, it takes a bit of pulling, mind you. There we go. But that is the idea. I'm just wondering, is there another way of doing this? Actually, I can't remember. I think this is how I used to do it. It is. It's just. It, it definitely is a two-hand, two-hand job. But anyways, guys, that's what I'm at now for this afternoon. I might not get a video up this evening, just with it being the bank holiday weekend and all, and we normally don't do a whole pile on a sunday that's why i didn't put up any video yesterday but i was working on a couple of bits and pieces today like you will see in this video now we are shifting cattle and with all my help they, they don't like tend to be waiting for me to be setting up cameras and things like that so we just get on with it and i try and do as much filming along the way as i can and then i'm back here on the yard getting our hay bob set up for rolling up our grass tomorrow i will have a video up of shifting the cattle and rolling the grass and then the next video after that we'll get it done with baling the hay i like to keep the video short anyway guys i don't want them running longer any longer than seven to ten minutes so we will keep it short and sweet but anyways guys if you've seen this video i know it's there's not a whole pile of content in it it's just a small clip just to get a video on just to keep in tune with everyone and just let you know what i'm doing if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And as always, we will catch you tomorrow. You should have the beacons on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a necessity.